We're back out here in Silveridge Peaks and today we're going to be exploring some of these new canyons down on the bottom of these ravines here that we've never checked out before. Holy, we just came over the top of this hill here and there are absolute mountain goats everywhere. We got three different herds of them out here. One out there, we got one right there, and we barely came over the hill. So who knows what's all over going to be over here as well. I'm pretty excited to find out. Yep, there's another one over there as well. But there could definitely be mountain lions out here, so we got to take down a couple of them pretty quickly here. We got a three out there. Oh, there's a good one. That's a big old four. Another three. And oh my god, that's a giant. That one is borderline down potential. He's about 415 yards out there, so that's a pretty long ways. But we're going to be going for the shot. He's angled quite a bit. The good thing about these mountain goats is that their vitals are very large. So 400 yards. Basically, if we hold for the top of the lung, we should be good. Smoked him. Perfect shot. He's going down. Now, that was quite a ways out there, and the percentage didn't drop right away. But that's basically because that shot was over 400 yards. There's the other one that we want to get as well. He's going to be roughly 415 by the time he slows down. Oh, that follow-up shot was absolutely money. That follow-up shot was absolutely money. It was so far that the percentage literally froze mid-shot. Look at that. It's stuck on the screen right now. All right, we got another herd over here. I do believe there may be one or two decent males. I'm pretty sure I thought there was one in there. Nope, those are all female. But that is a decent male. And I think our shot went high, but that follow-up, I do believe, should be liver. We'll come up over this next ridge here, and we got another one laying right there. That's another decent level three. And that shot should be perfect. Yes, it was. Ooh, look at the view from up here. <sighs> wow. All right, we're returning back to the exact location that we were at when we took down those mountain goats. In fact, we were right up to the top of that mountain there, about 360 yards out. And this is the last mountain goat that we shot at right here. here let's pick it up. It's going to be in 81.44, 283 yard. Yeah, you can see what I'm talking about here. The vitals are extremely large on these things, so you can definitely get that add out to 400 yards you know what i mean as long as you hold for top lung you're gonna drop in there and hit something that very well could be our big one he's got some massive horns nonetheless so that's gotta be him it's gonna be him and our shot was a 420 yard right lung shot he was quartered away almost directly away from us and we hit dead center in the middle of that lung so beautiful incredible shot and he's a pretty big one as well. He's actually going to score 100.59. You need 107.6 to be diamond. So, oh, we got more calling back up here somewhere. Not sure where they're at, but they should be up in that brush up in there. Oh, another nice four. And it ran through that opening. Where are you going to go? Right there, apparently. Got him a little too far back. Woo, but that follow-up was spot on. And dropped him. I think we might have actually gotten a next shot. Another one there. Smoked him. Oh yeah, that follow-up shot was definitely money because that's a vital hit right there. Yep, liver and lung at 201 yards. Just barely, but you know what? I'll take it. 88.81 gold. And he's a beige. Alright, we shot that one right here and he didn't go 15 yards and piled up. Running lung shoulder shot, 87.32, and it's a gold as well. 
So I'm wondering what this one might be. Another pretty good size weight. Mountain goat. All right, here's this one piled up right here. And there's another one taken off over there. Maybe that is the one that we're looking for. Oh, that's another huge mountain goat. Oh my God, is that shot an incredible shot. 476 yard lung shot and an 89.20 gold. Wow. So that's the second to last one that we got uh, in the very beginning. But that shot there was incredible. I do remember we took that shot and he kind of disappeared right after we took that shot. And uh, the percentage actually froze up mid screen. And that was a shot right there. 470 yards. Oh, and we got that too. Literally spent the entire day yesterday trying to call these things in. And now we got another one right there. Right out in the wide open. Oh, this setup here is perfect though. We're going to try and call him in as well. I really, really want to get him with the recur bow. Although it seems like it's going to be nearly impossible. We have the collar, we have the tripod, we have a perfect win, and we can see really far to be able to watch him come all the way into the collar. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna call him in and take him down with the recurve bow. Instinctively. And I'm thinking, we'll set up our tripod right on the edge here. Like right there. And we'll put the collar right behind us. Oh, we're going to call from a bear somewhere. I suppose we could call him in as well. But yeah, let's make sure we are 220 yards out of work. Tripod. It will set that up right here. And the collar, we're going to set it up actually behind. Oh, there's the bear. We're going to set the collar up a little bit behind us. All right, where's our mountain lion here? It's right behind that grass, so he's kind of difficult to see. But... Should come into the call. Let's set that thing up right here. And let's get in. Should be coming in. But like, oh, there he is. There he is. All right, let's check. That's going to be 22 yards plus 190 would be. Oh, I mean, maybe a little bit too far away. I'm going to move our tripod closer. All right, let's get back in. see how it works oh this is gonna work perfect actually because we can see him from right here let's get this collar going let's see what happens oh it worked oh my god he's coming right in he's already coming right in we got to make sure we're all locked and loaded here with the 420s perfect perfect And we saw him. Oh, here he comes. Oh my God, big mountain lion, big male coming right in. He's about 150 yards out. Now let's watch and observe how this big mountain lion comes in to get its prey. So we got our caller right there, 30 yards out. But what he's probably gonna do is come through here, loop all the way around through this thick stuff here. Stay out 100 yards out and then come in from over here. Watch. Just see. Watch what happens. I bet that's probably going to be what happens. And I would have been totally wrong because he's actually coming right straight for us here. 
but he's still in the thick brush and he's definitely observing us from a distance. Or would I have been wrong? That's exactly what he's doing. Watch, he's going right for this thick stuff. He's hanging tight out there at about 120 yards. Yep, <laughs> that's exactly what he's doing. Like, to the T, he's literally doing spot on what I said he was gonna do. <laughs> he's gonna go all the way around through here. I do think what we should probably do though is try and trick him a little bit or more so entice him to come this direction. All right, that should work. Looks like it's working. He's coming in. Oh my God, he's 80 yards out, coming closer. All right, here we go, come on. 60 yards. 50. This is unbelievable. Forty yards. He's forty yards away right there. Now that's definitely in range. But he's quartered directly at us. So we don't have a shot just yet. Wait for it. Wait for it. Okay, he's 35 yards right there. Oh my god, he's 30 yards away. We're gonna have to hold low. Sometimes that happens. been fooled once and by fooled I mean by messing up the shot pretty horrendously however that goes to show you that we do miss sometimes and those shots are not always as easy as they look usually the shots are very difficult especially you know the 60 yard shot that we pulled off on that pronghorn buck that one time it was a very very incredibly difficult shot and we just missed a 30 yard shot on this mountain lion but to be fair, I did say that anything less than 30 is extremely difficult to pull off the shot. Unless it's obviously broadside and stopped. This one was kind of quartering at us a slight bit. So we weren't able to get the exact position on that shot. I'm wondering if maybe we might want to take the shot in this brush here. 190. I believe like 180 is pretty much as close as you can set this thing up without everything taken off. Come on, give me a spot, please. Oh my God, we're so lucky that that mountain lion didn't bolt. Whew. Okay. So he's sitting right there. That means we gotta put the car behind us and hope that he comes right in. He's about 180 yards out, so if we get back here, mm, roughly 15 yards, he should come right past us into range. But we made it into our, but we made it into our tripod, and now we got a pretty incredible view. Here he comes, right here. I don't know if he can see us or not, but. For some reason right now, he was slightly attentive. And I do think that maybe he actually could see us when we jumped up into our tripod. Anyways, we're gonna do some enticing here and try and get him to come this direction a little bit closer. 
All right, guys, so let's get him this time. There he is right there, 50 yards out from us. He's gonna keep coming. Let's get ready. Here we go. Oh my God, he's coming right in. He's 30 yards away. Right there. 32 yards. And closing. Wow, he's gonna walk right underneath us. No way. Okay, he's less than 20 yards away from us. This shot is gonna be so close, it's not even funny. Smoked him! He was super close. And we smoked him. All right. And he just tipped over right there. So this close of a shot here, the uh, it's kind of odd, but basically what you do is shoot the same as you would at 40. I don't really know how to explain it, but it's just like the rays of the arrow at this distance here is equivalent to the arrow leveling off at 40 yards over there. It's probably the best way I can explain it, but um, yeah, that's exactly what we did right there and just smoked him 20 yards away. That makes up for messing up that shot at 30 yards. It really does. All right, let's get over here and go take a look. Well, we took the shot right there. Really good blood and um, we're not really gonna have to track him because we watched him pile up right over here. More blood and there's our mountain lying down. But that's gonna be our first mountain lying down with the new Reeker bow. Shot him at 13 yards away and got a spine lung shot. 37 gold. That makes me think that the one that we shot last time, he was broadside slightly quartering away like this, or slightly quartering at us. And I'm pretty sure we dropped like right here, just below the heart. If we would have held for right here, we would have had him. But a sweet looking mountain lion as well. We got a real nice muley buck bedded over there. He's actually a 220 plus, bedded at 160 out. I want to try something that we never really did before, and that is I want to set the collar here, but then I want to try and go towards him. And I want to see if he walks right past us while we're prone, because if he does, that's going to be pretty awesome. Basically, it will lay prone until he's right next to us within 30 yards. And when he's walking at 30 yards, we're going to crouch up. And by that 10, he's going to be about 20 yards from us. And we're going to take the shot. There he is right there. There we go. There we go. He's actually a great looking buck. I know he's a three, but he's a huge three. And he's coming in. 40 yards. Here we go. He's gonna walk right past us. Or maybe not. But we're still gonna absolutely smoke him. And he's going down right over there. I'm not sure why he noticed us. I'm not sure if he could see us or if the wind kind of started blowing that direction. Whatever it was, he sensed something. Oh, there he is. He's piled up right here. So we did take kind of a quartering shot. But we hit it pretty much right on the money. Front shoulder, lung. And the scapula as well. So that's going to be a 238 goal. Yeah, I knew he was big. I knew he was real big. The shot was 24 yards out. And a great rack on that buck. Holy, look at the size of that buck. It is an absolute monster. 
260 to 321 on the estimate on that thing. I have no clue where he came from, but all I know is that we actually spotted him, or so, more so we heard him, while we were trying to call in that mountain lion, another buck over there. So we're gonna try and post up here and see if we can't get a shot off as he's cutting across this valley. It's a long ways out, but there's a nice little opening right there and it just might work out. Ah, he's way that, wait, that's a three. Oh, there he is. 260 yards out. Now he's trotting. Son of a... We got him, baby. Woo! What a shot. Not sure if the follow-up worked or not, but that first shot seemed like it was absolute money. It was a long ways out there on the bottom of this ravine. Look at this location here. We're over here by Lone Island Lake, right out in the middle of nowhere. There's no water anywhere near us. Just on the bottom of this canyon here. We did get a call from a black bear, which is why we actually came over here in the first place. But imagine if you're up in that hill there, just looking down and you could spot that huge buck, which is kind of what we did. We were over there. Up on the top, up on the ridge top, looking down. All right, so our buck was right over here. That's a vital hit, and our buck is literally piled up 20 yards away. Well, let's take a look at this thing. There he is. It's going to be a 266 gold, and we pull off a trotting 280-yard double lung liver stomach shot. Wow, what a shot. We were literally holding for way the heck out here in front of him on the trot at 260 yards and we absolutely smoked that thing good penetration and everything like that and an awesome looking rack on that buck it's the biggest one we've seen in quite a while Holy would you look at what we just found. That is our huge level seven male mountain lion out there. 250 yards out. What an incredible location for him to be bedded at as well. We tracked him for a long ways and eventually spotted him. So he's right out there. Now we're gonna set up the tripod down here. So we have a good wind blowing back in our face because if we set it over there, He's probably gonna come right towards us and eventually catch our scent, which we absolutely do not want to have happen. But he's right there. Now the thing is, the wind is actually slowly shifting back towards him. So in this case here, well, his zone should end from 12 o'clock. Uh, I don't know what he's gonna do. I'm gonna have to give you a briefing on this in a second right now, but this mountain lion is coming right towards us here, and I cannot even believe my eyes. He was literally right there. We did a couple things, and now he's coming right towards us. Like, right towards us. He's 50 yards out and closing. We got the caller 30 yards behind us. Oh my god, let's get ready. Okay, so he's... 45 yards there. He's going to be about 40 any second. We got to get him to slow down though. 38 yards. That's in range. If he stops one more time, we could take that shot. Watch him. 40 yards. Uh, he's not coming in. Oh my God. I can't believe it. It seemed like he was coming into the call. But then he stopped. Nope. He's just traveling out there. Well, we had a chance. And now we got ourselves a smoked lion. I really, really wish we would have pulled back. 
But at the same time, if we would have taken that shot, he could have easily stepped forward and we probably could have hit him in the intestine, which wouldn't have been ideal either. Honestly, we called him in. Okay, let me tell you what happened. So he was bedded right out there, about 160 yards. He wasn't coming at all. We waited for 10 minutes, no sign of him coming in whatsoever. So we took the recurve bow and shot probably like five or six times right over there. And I actually tried to even hit him when he was there. Well, finally he went alert. And when he went alert, he actually started coming towards us. Then he went to attentive and literally trotted straight through all the way past up to about 40 yards, which is where he stopped right there. And yeah, we could have taken that shot, but oh, we would have had to have been at full draw because I, there's no way you could have anticipated him to stop right where he did like that. There's just, there's no way. Anyways, let's be thankful that we did get him and he should be piled up right over there because we put a lot of work time and effort and to get in this thing a lot all right we took the shot right here got a nice vital hit and our mountain lion shouldn't be too far away yep there he is down right over there all right we got him it's going to be at 37.68 gold, and we tracked that thing for almost a mile. That was a lot of effort to try and get this thing. But we pulled off a nice right lung shot there, walking at 130 yards. And that is going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks so much for the comments and feedback down below, and we'll see you next time. We gotcha.